Hi everyone, it's Marina. I am here to do a project share with you. It's been quite some time since I did a little video, or it feels like a long time. Um, I've actually been working on this for a while. I was kind of back and forth in trying to think of ideas. Like I had no clue what I was going to do for the cover. I had ideas of what I wanted to do in general, but when it came to the cover, I was just like stuck, like super, super stuck. So um, I do, I do like how it turned out. So I'm just going to share with you what I did. Um, okay, sorry. Let me start with. Um, this is for a swap with Lori, uh, Lori W. Hi, Lori. And um, this is for the Junk Journal Junkies group. Um, we have a swap going on over there that I'm hosting, which is for a fictional character swap. And um, Lori um, decided to take me on as a partner. Plus, I wanted to get her back for sending me such a fantastic Hocus Pocus junk journal. And so I hope, I hope this, uh, I hope she likes it. I really do because I just wanted to make this kind of my um my I wanted the feel for this to be like it was actually a maybe a school book or one of um, a wizards or witches or wizards book that they kind of just you know kind of made it themselves and they have like newspaper clippings and uh, school studies like if it were a wizard's journal like a personal journal for a wizard or a witch, I would say that, I would think that this stuff would be in here. So I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys what I did. Plus, um, I'm also, I'm going to um, enter this in for um, Butterbee Scraps uh, design team, one of my first projects that I'm going to do. So um, I painted, I painted these covers, or I, uh, the cover is chipboard, medium weight chipboard. And I painted over it with, what is it, Basics Acrylic, and I think it's Raw raw Amber or Raw Umber. I'm going to grab it for you. And then I painted over it with because raw sienna. I first, when I first put this color on, I was just like, great, great, good job, Marina, you ruined it. So <laughs> I was just really bummed out. Um, but I decided to keep going and see how it turned out. Okay, so these, all these metal embellishments that I use are Butterbee scraps, except for this bead and this uh, charm piece here. This charm I got from, um, I got from Sherry Doyle Pack. Hi, Sherry. And this bead I got from Crafty Irina. Hi, Irene. Hi, Anna. So I wanted to show you the metal pieces that I used on this project. Because I have quite a bit of them. And I feel like for some reason that I'm running out of metals when I'm not. Okay. So I took one of these and I put some patina on it. Some uh, vintage patinas. And I used, I don't know that word. It looks like vitigris vitigris I don't know but I used that it's a really pretty color and I also used Victorian gold and to get the wash look I used the glaze there is patina glaze and it really like it makes oops, sorry it thins out the patina so they're not just otherwise you'll have like a solid color and I wanted it to be a uh, kind of a whitewash look like on here so I cut this in half and then I flattened it out. I just like, I think I used the edge of my scissors and I just like pushed it down so that it was flat on a hard surface, of course. And then over here, I used one of these and I actually just cut all four edges or I cut it in half twice and I just stuck them on here. And the metal corners are also better be scraps and I used the vintage patinas on those as well and I used the closure is a piece of leather that I got from I got it from Hobby Lobby I got quite a bit of leather from Hobby Lobby it was on sale and um, one of uh, Butterbee Scraps hitch fasteners and then I put this back on and it's just some cheesecloth and some old book pages and then I used those pa those bags that I forgot where I got them from but I absolutely love them and I put that I just layered it on and then put the metal pieces on 
So these are Butterby scraps as well. So I have these two pieces here and those, so I just layered these two. Then I put on top, um, oh, oh yeah. I wasn't even paying attention to this back piece that I used. That I probably won't be able to find. I took everything out of their bags because I thought it would just be simpler not to have it all bagged up all the time. And then when I'm on camera, I can't seem to get it all together. So, sorry about that, you guys. Okay, so anyway, there's this back piece on here. And then I layered these little pieces on underneath. And I kind of, there's, uh, there's two of them, and I kind of just put them at an angle underneath the, um, I don't know what this is called, you guys. I can't think of the name for this. But I put the patinas on him as well, and then I kind of just um, bent up this bottom part right here so I could put this charm on. So I really like that. There's five signatures. There's over ten pages in each signature. Like, I don't know. I hope I didn't go overboard. But... I was trying not to make it too thick, and then I didn't want it to be too thin, and I think I ended up making it quite kind of chunky. So, you know, hey. Before I go into the journal, though, I know you guys are probably like, stop talking about the cover. Sometimes I just want to look inside, but if you want to, go ahead and skip forward, but I want to talk to you guys about what I did with these parts, okay? So, I made some little potions for her, or just like a witch's starter kit just must-haves in your stash like a witch's stash or something I thought it'd be cool to have that so um, I used this moss collection and I got this jar from Hobby Lobby it was only like a dollar and I used I used Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist and Marion Smith Glimmer Mist that I made myself um, I just made this color myself it was just yellow and I think I put some gold some gold uh, powder in there so uh, this color is I don't know because I don't have their colors on here <laughs> but I wanted green but I couldn't find my food coloring so plus I wanted to have some sparkle so I added some of these some of the little bits of this in there just some little bits of stuff and it's a weird I like the way this stuff smells <laughs> so that's in there and I added some yellow because this color actually came out darker than I expected. So, And then at the bottom I added, I know this is going to sound really weird, I have this really thick embossing powder, and because you're supposed to put rocks, but I don't have any rocks. So um, I just put this at the bottom because it's kind of heavy and I never get it to melt the way I want to. So um, That is that, that is that uh, little potion jar. And then here I have, oh! my gosh you guys I put so much like I did so much for this journal um, I actually looked up and downloaded different um, fonts so I could type it out and print it um, so I have parcel tongue then I have what is it Lumos and then I have magic school so they're all from Harry Potter and they're Harry Potter fonts so this is a uh, mermaid scales from the Black Lake and I just mixed two colors together which were uh, these mica these mica flakes so I had a bunch of these and these and of course I has I have some that are like really pretty and they're like um, they look basically like giant glitter flakes but if you've seen the mermaids in the black lake they're not shiny and glittery they're kind of like greenish dark mermaids but I thought they'd be cool some mermaid scales so I cut these out after I typed them out and um, then I just burned the edges and glued it on so that is some um, Black Lake Mermaid Scales. Oh yeah, and these little pieces right here. Um, one of them is hand-dyed um, Sorry Silk. Sorry Silk Ribbon. And this is from my son's costume. It was one of his, as part of his belt, so put that on there. And then here is Mandrake Root. And so I just have like, actually got some, this is, um, the bark is from this, this stick that I found outside. So... And then I put, of course, some of the other moss collection pack in here. So it could be like parts of the roots, parts of the plant that grows out, you know, just little bits of different parts of the, oh my goodness, 
just parts of the magic in general. So I put that in here. And then I just put some seam binding on here, some hand dyed seam binding. And then of course I had to have a little vial of unicorn blood because I remember watching um, Harry Potter, the first the first movie, and when he was Voldemort was eating that unicorn or drinking the unicorn blood, I was just like, oh my gosh. And I remember it being really silver. This isn't as silver as I wanted it to be, but I just added some paint. Um, it's acrylic paint, and then I put glue on top so it wasn't flowing all over the place. And then I just printed it out and um, burned the edges and put it on here. And oh, okay, and I also put little hooks on top and these little metal parts here in case she wanted to hang them on something or make a necklace out of them. I was thinking about doing that, but I didn't want to go too overboard. I don't know if she wants to wear her potions. <laughs> so. <clears throat> Okay, so this is a actual, this is a real wood stick that I got off of, I, whenever I take my kids to the bus stop, there's this tree, and it's right over us all the time, and um, there's always sticks laying around, and I actually found one before this one, I was going to turn into a wand, but my son threw it somewhere outside, and I couldn't find it, so, um, it's okay, because I found another one, I peeled all the bark off, some of it I saved, and I actually whittled this, so I, I did this a do little bit. the, um, glue technique for this and I just kind of had fun and made it weird. I was thinking about putting some stuff around it and let it having a dangle or something but I don't know. I think it turned out good. It looks plastic. The acrylic paint on this wood. I sanded it down and everything. It was whew, a lot of love went into this one. So and then I printed off some of these which I'm going to send her a couple and they're just owl post pages and I coffee dyed them so I could use them kind of as wrapping paper. And so in here is a, I guess I'll just show you guys if I can get it open without tearing it. I don't want to tear it. So I just made this little book with a lot of the main characters. Of course Harry Potter and there's Hermione and it's got their names at the bottom. And these are a lot of the characters that you know, you come to know and, and love or hate. <laughs> so. And no, I know I don't have all the characters in here, but um, the, the second half, she can put notes in or she can... Um, I really, really debated adding this one. You guys know why. If you guys read, read it or watched Harry Potter... I seriously had like this inner turmoil going on of if I should put her in here. And I felt like if I hated her that much, she should probably be in here. So um, I figured this back part can be for her to add um, photos of her own or she can use for notes. So that's that little book that I made. And I will tape that back up later. So now I'm going to go into the journal. I just wanted to show you guys that extra stuff first and explain a little bit of it in case you have any other questions about how I did any of these because this is all white or clear glue. I used Elmer's clear glue and I did lots of kind of layering and color mixtures and to mix it in. You know what, it's just, if you want to know, I'll let you know. Just ask. All right, so um, I'm going to go ahead and go into this and hopefully you guys like it. I'm going to make sure that this is in frame. Love you. Love you too. Alright guys, so I was doing the recording before. Uh, I did everything together and then I was looking over it, getting ready to edit the video and just make sure everything was how it should be. And for some reason, the whole, this, the whole part, the first half of the book was just a complete blur. So, I'm going to do it again and hopefully this time it works without giving me any issues. I don't know why my camera was doing that, but okay. So I just have a leather closure here and I'm going to go ahead and open it up and I'm going to check and make sure that it's not being weird again, because if it is, I'd be really frustrated. So this is some more of the layering that I did from the cover. I just did it on the back, the front flap of the back flap on the inside. And a lot of this stuff, I, almost everything I looked up on Pinterest or Google. So. Um, this was in there, 
and it's just a uh, Ministry of Magic identity card. And so it's a picture of Lori, and she can just put, you know, her name, department, date of birth, and all that stuff if she wants to do that. So that's just um, an ID card I threw together. And then here's a basic alchemy paper. I don't know if I said this already, but I wanted this to be like what a wizard's journal would be like, or which is a wizard's actual journal would be like. So um, I'm hoping these pages will flatten out a little bit. I don't like how fluffy they are, but that's okay. So here's Harry Potter, and then there's just a pocket here, and it's a um, ticket for platform nine and three quarters. <laughs> and here's a newspaper clipping. And then here, I have um, printed out a list of Harry Potter spells and what they do. So that's definitely something uh, I would want to have. And here's just an Earth Chant here. And there's water over here, and then fire. And the water dragon char or spell or something. And then um, these are sigils and what they, how to say them and what they are and what they do. And here's some moon glyphs. And then a spirit, spirit chant. And then the witch's alphabet. And I used parchment paper. I used a lot of parchment paper and I copy dyed it. So there's really good paper in here. <laughs> and then there's the first page of the Drought of Living Death. And I think I'm gonna, Oh, okay, cool. So the next part of the video that you're gonna go to does the rest of the book. I just had to do the quick part and show you this real quick. So, um, all right, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and get that started. And here's a um, fire dragon spell, a air dragon spell, and this was my favorite thing to make. I tried to find the full version of this, but um, I couldn't find it anywhere. Maybe you guys know where to find it, but I have no clue. And um, I ended up with the mini version, which I figured, hey, that's probably okay because if I was a witch or wizard going through the school I I wouldn't mind having a little mini version it's still just as effective so it's Mooney and Wormtail Padfoot and Prongs um, the Marauders map so if you guys don't know how to make the Marauders map work you just say I solemnly swear I'm up to no good and then it just opens up all this wonderful goodness so I folded it how you're supposed to fold it I cut it and uh, coffee dyed it and it's so cool so it's Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, and up here is the Quidditch pitch. And then you unfold it some more, and there's the Herbology greenhouses, the kitchens, the potions area. And it's so cool because you can see where all this stuff is. There's Hogsmeade, Hogsmeade. And then it's got the, uh, it's just so cool. I really love it. Oops. And so let's just unfold some more. The Shrieking Shack. You get to see all this cool stuff on here. The Whomping Willow. I just noticed that. That's cool. Alright, so that's that one. And it folds like it does, <laughs> like it's supposed to, so I thought that was cool. Alright, so that just goes in here. of Harry with his older self and his younger self. There's lots of room for gluing more stuff down or writing or whatever. And over here is my Dragon Studies area. I looked all this stuff up separately because it was not coming up in the Harry Potter area. So here's uh, Dragon's Muscle Anatomy. There's scales and textures. 
um, internal organ anatomy and skeletal anatomy. Because if I was a witch, I would totally be into dragons. And then here is just a, uh, a drawing of one. And um, some details and all that. Like a diagram. Sigils. Yeah, so there's like tons and tons and tons of writing space. Um, here's a little pocket here, and then it's just Harry Potter and his Patronus. And it's an envelope, which has nothing inside. I really thought I got every envelope. That's okay. Another pocket. And then here's Witch's Rune Spell. And then here is a um, <clears throat> newspaper clipping of Escape from Azkaban uh, from the Daily Prophet, and it just flips up. I stapled it on. And here is the Daily Prophet's Albus Dumbledore um, newspaper clipping. And then here is Undesirable Number One Harry Potter newspaper clipping, along with uh, advice from the Min Ministry of Magic. And then it's under a great threat from organizations calling itself the Death Eaters. So I thought those would be really cool to have um, in the journal. And then here's just a tuck spot with a little piece of paper. Um, Thestrials. I think these are called Thestrials. I'm sorry if I got the name wrong. I just I have it on the tip of my tongue and I, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but I love these things and Harry Potter can see them. They're actually really creepy looking, but really, really sweet creatures or really cool anyway. I think they're cool. You know, you think with all I printed off, there would be like more, but I guess I kept it all like in certain locations. And then, you know, this is um, the Deathly Hollows. And then there's death. And I glimmer misted these with the same glimmer mist I used for the gillyweed. And then these are sigils for protection. And I distress the edges of these with Tim Holtz distresser. And then I um, just went over it with some distressing walnut ink. Another envelope. And here is just some extra paper that I'm not going to open this seal. There's nothing really in here besides paper that she can write on. So I thought she might like that. And it look, kind of looks like it's a letter. So I thought that was cool. And then here's a pocket here. And it uh, says, Welcome to Diagon Alley. You know what I didn't get in here? I was I forgot to put the basilisk in here. I tried to get some of the creatures in here, and I think I forgot about that one. A divination, a divination spell. Um, the phoenix, and then here is a drawing of the phoenix over here. And then here are some alch alchemy studies. And a double side pocket. And then there's a unicorn and love sigils and talismans. I was looking at the unicorn photos and I kept, or pictures, and I kept seeing these really dainty, colorful, sparkly unicorns, and that's. Not how they, I mean, they are like that, but, you know, I don't want them to be, like, too unbelievable. And there is no patterned paper in here. I, I don't know if that's okay. I hope that's okay. And then it says Avada Kedavra, and it's got some of the Death Eaters here. And then inside I put some more of the Death Eaters, as well as their masks and a, uh, I guess, propaganda cover. And 
then I use the owl post for this envelope. Liquid Luck, Felix Felicis, or whatever, I forgot how you say that. I was going to make a potion of this, but I, I didn't. I don't know why. I think I'll make one later. And then here's an owl, and then, um, of course, the hippogriff, some hippog hippogriff art. I love it. Um, the colors of magic and their meaning. And then over here is the mandragora. That's so funny when you first meet the Mandragora, they're screaming. They're like shrieking. And then over here is, I thought that I should have a little comic relief in this area, so I have a, a Dementor at a kissing booth. Free kisses. I thought that was hilarious. And then, um, I like Men in Black when I was a kid, so I thought this was really cool. And it says Obliviate. And it says, clean up after yourself, household. So house elves don't work here so that's just my little funny area and then here's about owls and then over here is a drawing of of sadness and then just some palm reading and some other little um, magical things magical ephemera and then I um, I think these are runes nope these are alchemy this is alchemy and it's uh, I just kind of stapled this one on and then here's a image of Hogwarts and then here is runes these are runes and their meaning and then of course Dumbledore And back here, I have um, fan art of the four houses. Slytherin, Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, and Hufflepuff. So. Um, that is all of this. I think, I think I covered everything. I hope so. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope let me know what you think of the journal did I do okay I hope I didn't go overboard um, I kind of wanted to go you know kind of realistic like if this was my journal that this was my book of shadows or my I just I wrote this down in uh, Lumos uh, font and then I printed it out coffee dyed it and then um, just glued it on here so just magical studies so I hope you guys like it, like I said, and um, thank you so much for coming by and viewing the video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.